Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. And this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of um, someone who is getting out of a feeling of stuckness, someone who was feeling trapped or like a victim. And this could be even like um, anxiety or being a victim to your own mind, your own thoughts, negative thinking, holding you back, limiting beliefs. There is a feeling of empowering oneself from that, you know, kind of taking back your power and recognizing that you aren't stuck. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Fool, and this is Aquarius energy. The Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy, and the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. Yeah, it looks like some major transformation is happening here. Like you're having a shift in perspective, and it's leading to freedom. Um, with the Fool card being here, there's an energy of uh, certain baggage being removed from your life. Um you know, this could be a mindset that you're shifting your mindset or you're removing a situation or relationship that you felt obligated to, but it was really draining you or it was making you feel trapped. Um, there's an energy of you freeing yourself and, you know, feeling positive again, being able to feel optimistic. Um, so it's like you're embarking on a new journey, a new start, a new perspective. And there's this feeling of being open to something, knowing that you are you're divinely protected. And this isn't something that happened quickly or overnight because the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, um, but it's an intentional energy. It's a productive energy. So it does look like you are making very beneficial shifts in your life. Um, and there's this feeling of finally being out of a dark place. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, we also had the Six of Swords come out, which is also an energy of moving forward. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. It looks like you're moving forward from some sort of uh, a situation where you were hurt, like you're healing. Um, you, you're, you could be moving into calmer waters, or you're finally getting over a betrayal. It looks like this has already happened, so it's like you're you're just in this you're in this part that you're at the part or the phase where you're you're trying to get back up after it, and you're finally getting there. You're gonna be feeling very proud of yourself because it's like you're overcoming something that you thought would destroy you, and you're realizing that it didn't. You know, you're realizing how strong and how powerful you truly are okay so let's see we have the four of swords air energy the four of wands fire energy and the ten of pentacles earth energy so there's a heavy energy of healing with the four of swords you could have actually um taken a break from dating and from love because of whatever this this devastating setback was someone could have betrayed your trust someone could have really hurt you and or abandoned you or whatever it was it may have really affected your outlook on love and even life and with the full card it's like your faith in love and your optimism is coming back again it's like you're not gonna allow something from your past to keep you you stuck or jaded because uh, there's also an energy of still believing in love you know, and it may be that you're entering into a new relationship, a new commitment, and it's requiring you to shift your mindset. It's requiring you to 
stop seeing yourself as a, a prisoner to your past or a victim you know it's like and you are making these changes and you will be feeling very proud of yourself and you will also be feeling quite supported you have divine support you have family support there's an energy of really feeling like you can believe in love again um and there's a there's opportunity being presented to you here with the four of wands and the ten of pentacles the four of wands is that energy of like um relationship security and it's a wish fulfillment it's that 11 11 energy so you could be meeting someone here who you feel is everything you've you wanted you know everything you've been wishing for someone who checks off all your box your the boxes um someone who you feel like there could be serious long-term potential and it's kind of shifting your mindset you know recognizing that what you want does exist and that not everybody especially if like you had like a toxic ex or a terrible past experience you're recognizing that not everybody is like that you know so it is requiring a mindset shift so that you can embrace this kind of this love because it is out there for you and it looks like you're finally arriving at that point where you're ready okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um sagittarius So we have a look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Like your optimism is being restored and you're looking at something from a new perspective. You're seeing the bigger picture. There is this feeling of, you know, feeling, having that faith again. Okay, so let's see. we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so you could be connecting with a new person a new start it could also be getting to know yourself on a deeper level um but there's this feeling of um really becoming authentic really becoming honest with yourself as well as getting to know someone else on a deeper level being more honest with them um you know and feeling safe enough to do that okay so let's see We have destiny it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves so yeah it's like you're no longer limiting yourself you're you're staying out of a, a, a down place you know it's like you may have taken your time to heal to grieve and you're finally getting out of that you're taking control of your life again okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice sagittarius Okay, we have surrender to setting limits it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence okay so there's definitely an energy of uh, knowing your boundaries learning your boundaries uh, setting your standards as well as doing this with yourself as well you know it's like giving yourself the time to heal to grieve to to um you know move forward from a past heartbreak but also putting limits on how long you're going to stay down you know um you know allowing yourself to be able to grow and to not be jaded okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.